Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to safely operate the bandsaw. The bandsaw has this nice, thin, uh, relatively flexible blade. What that blade allows us to do is cut nice curves with the bandsaw. Because that blade is so thin and flexible, however, the bandsaw is actually pretty terrible at cutting straight lines. So, bandsaw, good for cutting curves, not good for cutting straight lines. Depending on the thickness of your material, that is going to determine how much blade you have exposed. If I was cutting this eighth inch material, having this much blade exposed, probably not a good idea. You can adjust how much blade is exposed by using this uh, handle on the back, loosen that, and that allows, allows this guard to raise and lower. The rule of thumb is, whatever the thick thickness of your material is, you want about an inch more blade exposed, no more than that. So uh, it's gonna look something kind of like that. You don't need to get out your tape measure and hold it up there and make sure that it's perfect. Just, you can kind of eyeball it. This would be acceptable. That is not enough blade. That would be too much blade. So somewhere in the neighborhood of that. Once we have that set, we can tighten the handle, locks this into place. Now with the bandsaw, let's say I wanted to cut this curved line here. I'm going to indicate which piece I'm going to keep and where my excess is. And that's going to become important here in a little bit. To start the saw, it is this button that says start. To stop the saw, you actually use this foot pedal down here. Put your foot on there, that stops it, and then apply pressure, and that slows this uh, blade down. Otherwise, it takes forever for this blade to come to a complete stop. Uh, as is true with most of our tools, when we start the, the saw, we want to make sure that the blade is not touching the material. As we're operating this, the bandsaw, we want to position our hands in such a way that we are not pushing directly in line with the blade. Reason being, if my hand is here and I'm pushing directly in line with the blade and my hand slips, it would slip into the blade. That would be a bad thing. Whereas when I'm pushing over from the side here and I slip, slip I would slide past the blade and be in less danger. Even though that blade is nice and thin, it does have some thickness to it, which means you can't exactly turn on a dime when you're operating the saw. So to make your turns, you're both pushing forward and turning at the same time. Now, when I make this cut, I'm gonna line it up so that I'm cutting just to the outside of my line. When all is said and done, I want to still be able to see the line. So. It is not touching the material. I'm gonna start the saw. my cut, stop the saw, clear the material with something other than my hand, and what I end up with, this is the piece I was keeping, I can see the line, I can now take this over to a sander or something and sand away the excess so that we get exactly what the designer has asked for. If you try and cut on the line, invariably you will make a mistake and you will cut into the piece that we're trying to keep and well that would be a bad thing uh, when you're operating the saw you want to keep your hands and fingers about three inches away from the blade uh, no closer than that <laughs> 